Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and shout out to my New Balance family for sending these beautiful New Balance Fresh Foam Trail More V3s my way. Excited because this is the first time we're going to be doing an unboxing and review on these and this is in the white and turtle dove colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Today we are going to be doing a first unboxing on this silhouette, which is the New Balance Fresh Foam Trail More V3s. We'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really cozy sneaker. And then we'll conclude with how much these are going for on the retail market and where you can find them. All right, let's jump right into it. So based on the name Trail More, this is obviously a sneaker that was made for the trails. As you can kind of see by the shape of the silhouette, it is more of a wider base. So this is definitely great for somebody who needs some extra stability and extra cushioning. And also for somebody who suffers from muscle fatigue when they're taking long hikes on the trail. I would say though, as trails differ, from flat to rocky this is definitely a sneaker that was made for a very flat trail and the reason i say that is you can kind of see on the bottom here this is definitely a sneaker that doesn't really hit the ground exactly because it's not a very flat base so you're not really connecting with the ground as you're walking so it's pretty unstable for more of a rocky environment so definitely think about that when you're deciding on what is the best kind of trail sneaker because I think that this one is perfect for just a very flat trail if that is where you plan to be hiking uh, or if it's just a place you plan to walk on a flat base through a park or maybe through a mountain but uh, this is definitely a great type of sneaker for that simple flat trail type. Uh, so this is really cool on the front. So we've got a lot of airflow that you're gonna get here because you can kind of see how perforated the knitting is on the front of the toe box in white. We also have this really cool toe protect bumper here for your big toe, which is quite unusual. You don't really see that on a sneaker. So it's cool that they've added that uh, technology there to give you that protection just in case you stub your toe on something. As well as it's got this guide rail that you can kind of see it's in that same pattern pattern, which works its way to the medial side of the sneaker, but also it works its way to the lateral side of the sneaker as well. And that's really to protect your foot from any type of abrasion. So if there's any rocks or any sticks or things like that, that could potentially poke through the sneaker itself, that's there to really guide and protect you. Working our way up to the tongue, we've got these really cool laces. It looks like we've got some recycled material in it because it isn't a solid gray tone. So you've got some speckles throughout. And then we've got the New Balance logo, Fresh Foam times Trail More on the pull tab here. And then underneath, we've just got a simple white mesh tongue. All right, so let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling of the sneaker itself.
All right, so wrapping around, that is where we're getting more logos for New Balance. It's quite subtle because they decided to go with white, which I think blends with the knitting of the side paneling itself. Again, we're seeing that really just cool rail that's still continuing around the side paneling of the sneaker itself. And then on the back, this really feels quite rough to the touch. It looks like almost sprinkles when you have it in front of you. And it's definitely some recycled materials, but definitely is creating some protection as well for the back of your heel. You also have a pull tab here in this charcoal gray tone. It actually matches the laces pretty closely. And then we've got these cute little symbols on the back here. I was wondering what those meant, but when you actually look on the interior of the sneaker, which is also looks like it's recycled materials because it's different spackles in this gray tone, uh, but it looks like the symbols each mean something different. So the O is revel in the triangle, magnificent, and then the little waves are outdoors. So really cool that they've kind of added those cute little symbols on the back. As we wrap around to the lateral side of the sneaker, you're gonna see New Balance again, but it is actually in a very big font in comparison to the medial side of the sneaker itself. As we work our way to the bottom of the midsole here, this is where we've got the fresh foam branding. And you can kind of see like this is a very, thick midsole. This is actually thicker than pretty much a lot of the sneakers that I review on the channel. And this midsole is basically to add structure under your foot. So there's actually dual density fresh foam in here, which is why you get that thick layer on here with a combo of a, a basically a denser secondary foam underneath. So that's a lot of foam. I will definitely say that you're getting a maxed out cushion fill on these because of how much fresh foam they've added into this. Uh, but we've got soft fresh foam on top and there's definitely more than enough foam basically than what you really need in a sneaker. But I love that they've added that for this extra comfort. Uh, as far as the bottom goes, where I was talking about the stability on those, we've got monster-like deep tread on the bottom here. So you can kind of see how massive the treading is. And then that is actually providing lots of extra grip and we've got micro traction on here as well. You can kind of see that it's spackled and then we've got the Vibram technology that's also in the sneaker itself. But this is a really cool kind of gum bottom color scheme. But again, we've got some recycled materials that they use. So that's where you're kind of getting that recycled look. Kind of also reminds me of other brands that have done, you know, recycled sustainable sneakers where they also use this kind of material that looks spackled as well uh, but this is recycled from scrap resin so really cool just another note to being a sustainable shoe so if you're somebody who's looking to wear sneakers that have sustainable materials this is definitely one that you can add uh, to your collection all right so now that we've talked about all the technologies added into this as well as the overview let's take a look at those last and final details So as far as size and fit goes, this is a men's sizing. I went true to size and I feel like these fit me perfectly. I don't have a lot of extra space, but with thicker socks, I feel like this still works. Uh, so definitely take into consideration that I do have high arch narrow feet. And again, this is definitely great for somebody with wide feet because there is a wide base on here, uh, but definitely take into consideration whether or not you have wider flat feet versus narrow uh, thin feet. 
All right, so now let's jump into how I style this trail sneaker. For the first look, I definitely wanted to dress it up a little bit with this really cool olive toned dress that was a cable knit. And then I layered that with just a cropped khaki jacket. I love you. And then for the second look, kept it with a nice linen dress, this time in a similar olive tone, but in a maxi uh, length. And for the last and final look, wanted to bring some color into the mix with a linen red dress. All right, so as far as the retail goes, you can still find these on the New Balance website for $160. And again, this is just a very extremely cushioned sneaker because all of that additional fresh foam that you're getting in here. So if you're looking for an amazing trail sneaker specifically for a flat trail, this is definitely something you have to try out. Again, thanks to the New Balance team for sending these my way. I always appreciate you when you're thinking of me. Uh, but that is it for this unboxing and review. My name is is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all next episode.